since, uh, well, probably just Jibs. I've just started a new season here. Uh, I'm taking a look at the calendar. Just played, you know, the few friendlies and uh, participated in the transfer window a little bit. Uh, we got my first game against Swansea here today in the Barclays Premier League, playing as Cardiff City. Uh, introduce you to the squad a little bit. Uh, I've got De Gea in goal. Uh, and you got to remember, I'm about five or maybe six seasons in. I don't know, I think it's the year 2019. And this is FIFA 14, so you do the math. So I've got De Gea here, uh, Callum Chambers at the right wing back. I've got Calker and Saar at the centers. Uh, and this is actually a computer generated player here. He's got potential to be special. Uh, he's a big guy, ponytail, 6'5", 185, plays both of the wing backs there. Uh, running a 4-4-2 here with a center and uh, attack and defensive mids with uh, two wide wingers and two strikers. We got Pogba bringing up the back. Um, he's developed pretty well since I got him in here just a couple seasons ago. Um, he's he's been pretty pretty solid at the back there, and um, you know definitely a key player on the team. Uh, his substitute actually is Caliba who's actually kind of uh, a real center defensive mid as opposed to, you know, um, Pogba being an actual just center mid. I put in Caliba if uh, I want to give Pogba some rest or if I want to just really lock down on defense and hold a lead near the end of a game. Going back up, uh, the midfielders here, I've had Daly since day one. He actually started off in the 60s overall. I had no idea he would get to the 86, um, and I don't know. Let's see if he can keep going. Ola John got him a couple seasons ago. He hasn't grown a whole lot, but he's been very, very key uh, as far as setting up assists for uh, my strikers to get a lot of goals. I think he, last season he finished number one in assists. Um, and center attack, you know, the maestro, James Rodriguez, picked him up just last season. And wow, he was an absolute game changer. I mean, he is just, he really is the complete midfielder. Uh, if you have your own career mode, I highly recommend picking him up. He's good size, he's got a strong leg. Uh, he's just very, very good overall. I have Alexandre Lacazette. Now this player actually just entered my team last season but I didn't buy him. The board actually bought him for me because they thought I didn't have enough strikers. Um, but I've definitely got, you know, a few. But they decided to go ahead and buy Lacazette for me. So, uh, so he's been on my team as of last season. He's not horrible. He's not fantastic. He's just uh, very good, small and quick. He's a good dribbler. Um, I don't know, he, he sets up a lot of assists for Marshall, who's my main goal scorer here. Last season he finished number one in goals at 28. I think the next highest was 21 or so. Uh, he was really on fire last season. He's uh, definitely, definitely grown a lot with the team. I've had him for a few years now. Uh, I know he's got some more potential to grow here, and I want to see how high we can get him. Um, he's just fantastic, extremely quick. I mean, 98 sprint speed, so what, there's like two, three other players that can maybe chase him. I just He's just huge. Uh, so going down to the substitutes, these actually filter in and out quite often. I've actually got these two computer-generated players. Solmay Donna just signed him this season. He's, what, 17 probably? But look at his sprint speed and acceleration already. Just incredibly fast. His stamina is through the roof. I mean... He's just a, an extremely athletic guy. He's small, but he plays both on the uh, wing backs there, so uh, he's going to be very good. He's got potential to be special. Also, I love his name and the fact that he's from the Ivory Coast, Solmane Dona. Um, so he's he's pretty good. This guy also, he's got potential to be special as well. Giannis Angles just picked him up again this season. Plays a few positions here. Um, thinking maybe might eventually try and work him toward a center defensive mid position. Um, not exactly sure where I want to put him yet. He's uh, pretty big, you know, 6'3", 170. Um, haven't played with him a whole lot yet. I've played him 
with him just once this preseason. And that was uh, kind of interesting. Uh, now going down to the other substitutes, uh, another computer generated guy here. He's all right. He's really small, like 5'5", 130. I don't know if I'm going to keep him or not, but uh, we'll see. We got Zaha. He's definitely important to the team. Uh, he's a good substitute on either side, left or right mid, when these guys are getting tired, you know. So uh, definitely keep him around. And of course, going back to Calibo, my, you know, lockdown center defender. We've got two computer generated strikers here. Uh, one I want to focus on is Danny Davis. If you take a look at his height and his weight, 6'6, 198, dude is a monster up front. Just absolutely huge. No one can even jump as high as he stands. Like, you just got to throw the ball in the box and he heads it in. Um, it almost feels like cheating. Uh, he doesn't get it all the time, of course. I mean, there's definitely some tall center backs, but I mean, this guy is absolutely deadly in the air. Only got a 79 heading accuracy, uh, but it should be up in the 90s. Uh, we've got a computer-generated goalie. He's got some good potential here. Uh, I don't play him a whole lot unless it's a team you know I feel comfortable that I can get a win for sure. Uh, moving down, we've got let's just so we can see. We've got Leo Chambers. I do put him in sometimes if my center backs are getting tired. Um, he's more of just a yeah, stamina mule. Just keep him up there. Vasquez, another computer-generated. Um, this guy's been with me for a while, since the beginning actually. He hasn't really progressed at all, and he is getting kind of old, so I'm going to let my other younger players step up and grow, and he can just be there to, you know, in case anyone gets tired, he can step in. Uh, next five players are all computer generated, so we got a center mid, right mid, left mid, uh, attacking mid, and a right winger. I know these two here are, have potential to be special. These two are uh, just really good wingers, um, very standard. You know, they just get the job done. I uh, put them in if we have a stamina problem. Uh, also, this guy I haven't played with him a whole lot, but the times I have played, he's just been, you know, he's done his job. So that is the team so far. Uh, really going to be focusing on getting Marshall as high as possible this season and uh, sticking with the formation. It's really worked out for me last season. I actually finished top of the table and I won the Euro League. So this year I've got to hopefully do that again, but I'm not sure if that's going to be possible because surprisingly, let me go back here, my objectives is to avoid relegation. I won the league last year and now my goal is to avoid relegation. Also, I have pretty low, you know, cup objectives, so I don't think I'll get fired this season. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Who knows? Maybe, you know, it's going to be a lot harder now that I've won the league. I I'm not sure if there's a little mechanic like that in place. I doubt it, but you never really know. Um, also, I'm in the market for getting Rafael Varane. I've actually got the uh, club to agree to a deal. Now I'm just trying to get his wage figured out. He's holding out for more and more money. Um, but I wanted to get him in and actually sell Sar number five, down there, left center back, because he doesn't want to play for me anymore. Figure I can get some decent money out of him. He's 84 overall and still pretty young. So who knows, but... That is the introduction to the uh, the teams. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and get started, get this season underway.